FOSB, Wikipedia Audio NM00111471, NM006732, NM008036, NM00134756, NP00110743, NP00672 Delta FOSB NP00133415 NP032062 FBJ murine osteosarcoma viral oncogene homolog B also known as FOSB or FOSB is a protein that in humans is encoded by the FOSB gene the FOS gene family consists of four members, FOS, FOSB, FOSL1, and FOSL2. These genes encode leucine zipper proteins that can dimerize with proteins of the June family, thereby forming the transcription factor complex AP1. As such, the FOS proteins have been implicated as regulators of cell proliferation, differentiation, and transformation. FOSB and its truncated splice variants, FOSIB and further truncated Delta II FOSIB, are all involved in osteosclerosis, although Delta II FOSIB lacks a known transactivation domain, in turn preventing it from affecting transcription through the AP1 complex. The FOSIB splice variant has been identified as playing a central, crucial role in the development and maintenance of pathological behavior and neural plasticity involved in both behavioral addictions and drug addictions. FOSIB overexpression triggers the development of addiction-related neuroplasticity throughout the reward system. FOSIB differs from the full-length FOSB and further truncated Delta II FOSIB in its capacity to produce these effects, as only a cumbal FOSIB overexpression is associated with pathological responses to drugs. Delta FOSB or FOSIB is a truncated splice variant of FOSB. FOSIB has been implicated as a critical factor in the development of virtually all forms of behavioral and drug addictions. In the brain's reward system, it is linked to changes in a number of other gene products, such as Kreb and sirtuins. In the body, FOSIB regulates the commitment of mesenchymal precursor cells to the adipocyte or osteoblast lineage. In the nucleus accumbens, FOSIB functions as a sustained molecular switch and master control protein in the development of an addiction. In other words, once turned on FOSIB triggers a series of transcription events that ultimately produce an addictive state, this state is sustained for months after cessation of drug use due to the abnormal and exceptionally long half-life of FOSIB isoforms. FOSIB expression in D1-type nucleus accumbens medium spiny neurons directly and positively regulates drug self-administration and reward sensitization through positive reinforcement while decreasing sensitivity to aversion. Based upon the accumulated evidence, a medical review from late 2014 argued that a cumbal FOSIB expression can be used as an addiction biomarker and that the degree of a cumbal FOSIB induction by a drug is a metric for how addictive it is relative to others. Chronic addictive drug use causes alterations in gene expression in the mesocorticolimbic projection, which arise through transcriptional and epigenetic mechanisms. The most important transcription factors that produce these alterations are FOSIB, cyclic adenosine monophosphate response element binding protein, and nuclear factor kappa B. FOSIB is the most significant biomolecular mechanism in addiction because the overexpression of FOSIB in the D1 type medium spiny neurons in the nucleus accumbens is necessary and sufficient for many of the neural adaptations and behavioral effects seen in drug addiction. 
Fossib overexpression has been implicated in addictions to alcohol, cannabinoids, cocaine, methylphenidate, nicotine, opioids, phencyclidine, propofol, and substituted amphetamines, among others. Jund, a transcription factor, and G9A, a histone methyltransferase, both oppose the function of Fossib and inhibit increases in its expression. Increases in nucleus accumbens jund expression or G9A expression reduces, or with a large increase can even block, many of the neural and behavioral alterations seen in chronic drug abuse. FOSIB also plays an important role in regulating behavioral responses to natural rewards, such as palatable food, sex, and exercise. Natural rewards like drugs of abuse, induce gene expression of FOSIB in the nucleus accumbens, and chronic acquisition of these rewards can result in a similar pathological addictive state through FOSIB overexpression. Consequently, FOSIB is the key mechanism involved in addictions to natural rewards as well, in particular, FOSIB in the nucleus accumbens is critical for the reinforcing effects of sexual reward. Research on the interaction between natural and drug rewards suggests that dopaminergic psychostimulants and sexual behavior act on similar biomolecular mechanisms to induce FOSIB in the nucleus accumbens and possess bidirectional reward cross-sensitization effects that are mediated through FOSIB. This phenomenon is notable since, in humans, a dopamine dysregulation syndrome characterized by drug-induced compulsive engagement in natural rewards, has also been observed in some individuals taking dopaminergic medications. FOSIB inhibitors may be an effective treatment for addiction and addictive disorders. Current medical reviews of research involving lab animals have identified a drug class class I histone deacetylase inhibitors that indirectly inhibits the function and further increases in the expression of accumbal FOSIB by inducing G9A expression in the nucleus accumbens after prolonged use. These reviews and subsequent preliminary evidence which used oral administration or intraperitoneal administration of the sodium salt of butyric acid or other class IHDAC inhibitors for an extended period indicate that these drugs have efficacy in reducing addictive behavior in lab animals that have developed addictions to ethanol, psychostimulants, nicotine, and opiates, however. As of August 2015 no clinical trials involving human addicts and any HDAC class I inhibitors have been conducted. To test for treatment efficacy in humans or identify an optimal dosing regimen. Role in Addiction FOSIB levels have been found to increase upon the use of cocaine. Each subsequent dose of cocaine continues to increase FOSIB levels with no ceiling of tolerance. Elevated levels of FOSIB leads to increases in brain-derived neurotrophic factor levels, which in turn increases the number of dendritic branches and spines present on neurons involved with the nucleus accumbens and prefrontal cortex areas of the brain. This change can be identified rather quickly and may be sustained weeks after the last dose of the drug. Transgenic mice exhibiting inducible expression of FOSIB primarily in the nucleus accumbens and dorsal striatum exhibit sensitized behavioral responses to cocaine. They self-administer cocaine at lower doses than control, but have a greater likelihood of relapse when the drug is withheld. FOSIB increases the expression of AMPA receptor subunit GLUR2 and also decreases expression of dynorphin, thereby enhancing sensitivity to reward. Viral overexpression of FOSIB in the output neurons of the nigrostriatal dopamine pathway induces levodopa-induced dyskinesias in animal models of Parkinson's disease. Dorsal striatal FOSIB is overexpressed in rodents and primates with dyskinesias, 
post-mortem studies of individuals with Parkinson's disease that were treated with levodopa have also observed similar dorsal striatal facebe overexpression. Levotiracetam, an anti-epileptic drug which has been demonstrated to reduce the severity of levodopa-induced dyskinesias, has been shown to dose-dependently decrease the induction of dorsal striatal facebe expression in rats when CO-administered with levodopa. The signal transduction involved in this effect is unknown. Facebe expression in the nucleus accumbens shell increases resilience to stress and is induced in this region by acute exposure to social defeat stress. Antipsychotic drugs have been shown to increase facebe as well, more specifically in the prefrontal cortex. This increase has been found to be part of pathways for the negative side effects that such drugs produce. This article incorporates text from the United States National Library of Medicine, which is in the public domain. Plasticity in Cocaine Addiction Summary of Addiction-Related Plasticity Other Functions in the Brain Notes